there. I am Prachi from Work Status. Today, I am going to walk you through the detailed functionalities of Work Status. So let's start. Difference between admin and user account. Before we move to address feature, let address the authority first. So when you create your organization on Work Status, the first account you create would be considered as the admin account and the account you create for employees would be considered as user account. The admin account considered the authority holds all the paths like approving time of request and manual time entry submitted by the users. And the user account will be given limited power that I will cover as we go through feature one by one. The first option is dashboard. Here you will get an overview of weekly activity and today's activity of both user and admin. Now let's understand this activity feature. So work status capture employees activity in three format. First, in screenshots, which can be used as a proof of work for a particular period of time. Second is apps where you can view the list of apps used by the employees. And third is URLs, where you can see which URLs are being visited by the employees, including the website visited in incognito mode. That's how you can track every activity your employees are doing at all times, from when they start the time tracker to when they stop it. Moving on to the next feature, timesheets. You can view and edit timesheets, have control over the approval of the submitted timesheets, you can add different time zones for your globally dispersed workforce. Check your employees' attendance under the timesheet feature. Admin can check employees' location, check-in, check-out, total hours and effective hours. Here, user can also add manual time. Suppose you started work at 9 pm and forgot to switch on the timer and suddenly realized by 10.30 pm to switch on the timer. Now you can add that 1 hour 30 minutes manually. Of course, the admin would hold the power of approving this manual time entry. Now let's move on to members. Below timesheet, we have a feature named members. Clicking on this, you can add and view already added members to add a member. You have to invite that person and for that, you need to fill some basic details like email, role and project. Once done, click the save button. The member would receive the invite and on accepting it, the member would be asked to sign up on the platform. For the already added members, you can view their details like email, role, number of project assigned, the status of the member, payment and work hours limit. For the already added members, you can view their details like email, role, number of project assigned, the status of the member, payment and work hour limit. It's especially useful for the admin to see who is online and who is offline at any given time. The next feature is team. Using it, you can create multiple teams. Let's show you how. Click on add team button here. Now you need to fill in basic details like team name, teammates, team leads and project. Press save to see the team added to the list of teams here. All the data regarding the members and the team lead will also be visible in that list of team. You can provide specific permission to a team leader so that he or she can participate in the system instead of admin doing everything. Permissions can be approving timesheets, taking care of your team's time of request or shift schedules for team members. Next up, let's discuss how you can add projects. Go to projects, click on add new projects, fill in details like project name, managers, users, clients and description and hit save. It's that simple. Here's the person marked as project manager can also take care of approving timesheets, taking care of project teams, time off request or shift schedules for projects team members. Now let's move on to to do's. Projects need to do tasks. So next we have to do's. Click here to add to do's. You can mention the name, project members, start and end date, description and attachment if any. Press the save button and your to do's are ready. Please note, regarding file size, you can add documents in to do's up to 5 MB. 
Now let's check out the option to add clients. Here you have the option. By clicking on it, you will see the add new client option. You can add journal info about the client, followed by the contact details, project and budget section. Click and save and congratulations, you have successfully added a new client. Let's move to job site. This feature is exclusively for tracking and managing your field force. You can add the name of the employees followed by the address or location of the job site and you can also define the radius of the assigned job site. Defining radius means geofencing and doing so would let you know when your field force enter or exit the defined area. Moving on to schedules. Along with assigning job site, you can also assign shift Check the schedule feature. Using this, you can assign shift to your employees. You can define their shift based on title, duration, minimum hours, recurring shift option, date till which the shift will be applicable and mention the work days. Save and the employee would receive a notification. You will get alerted if your employees is not available for the shift on time, helping you intervene when necessary. Please note. We are currently providing options for the day shifts only. To prevent burnout and for work-life balance, your employees need time off. Here is how they can request the same. By clicking on the time off feature, they can request time off. You can give leave option here. Under the type of leave, other details required are name, duration of leave and reason. Save when the request is received. Then the request would appear in the time of section of the admin account for approval. Now let's move on to reports. Work status is a powerful tool to access workforce analytics through different automatically generated reports. You can check time and activity reports here. Weekly reports, timesheet approval reports, job site reports, dynamic reports, attendant reports and all reports you want. You can also receive these reports in your email at any selected time. Let's see how that works. Click on the schedule report here and fill in the details like subject message, file type, name, date range, frequency and what time you would like to receive the report. Hit save and you will start receiving report as per your needs. You can download this information in PDF and CSV formats. These reports can also be directly mailed to your email by entering the specific email ID, selecting the desired format and clicking on save. Also, this information can be derived based on the single user and the team. The last feature we have for you is settings. You can access four types of settings. Click on all settings option. First, the general setting covers project, organization and time maps. The second is features. Here you can control timesheet schedules, time offs, and job site. Third, cover subscription settings like an overview of your current plan, change plan option, manage your cards here, and check your billing history here. The last was is an option to manage your organizational settings. Here you can add more organizations. Here we have an interesting feature which give power to admin to hide or show the activity menu for users. It's your call, you can decide for each user. On a popular demand, we are happy to share stealth mode with you. This would help track your employees without disruption their workflow. In stealth mode, the work status app start as you switch on the system and stops as you switch off the system saving you the hassle and time that goes into starting and stopping the work status app. This way, work status will silently work in the background, keeping an eye of everything without disturbing users. If you face any issue while running the software, you can reach us anytime using the help button located at the top right. That was a quick brief about all the features. We hope you found all the features useful for your business. If yes, Let's connect to take the discussion further. We also provide customization based on your need, so contact us and we can decide on the deal that works best for you. Thank you for your time. We we'll look forward to welcoming you to your work status family. That was a quick brief about all the features. We hope you found all these features useful for your business. If yes, 
let's connect to take this discussion further. We also provide customization based on your needs, so contact us. And we can decide on the deal that works best for you. Thank you for your time and we look forward to welcoming you to our work status family.